What's going on boys? Today we're going to be looking at the new ones to watch Camavinga Objectives. Obviously FIFA 21, the Objective Guides, was like my most popular series. We got around 50 Objective Guides out, um, each one averaging between like 1, 2 and like 10,000 views. So it's absolutely nuts, you guys seem to love it. So we are back with FIFA 22 and our first player Objective Guide is going to be... The man himself, Camavinga. I absolutely loved his normal 78 card, his, his gold rare, which is obviously the exact same stats at the beginning of the game and I was using him in my team. Obviously, with the new ones to watch rules, um, if Camavinga gets an inform, this card will upgrade and I'm pretty sure if Real Madrid win 5 out of the next 10, he will also get an upgrade and Real Madrid most likely will do that. Now, if you guys are new to these uh, objective guys, we're going to go over all these objective or objectives give you guys my tips and tricks and then obviously uh, build a squad builder for you guys to use so it is going to be taking place in the new foot friendly which i will obviously show you guys but first of all score using the league of players in 12 separate matches in a live foot friendly new alliance um you've got score 10 goals is it alliance or oh, i'm pretty sure it's that score 10 premium uh, score 10 goals using premier league players in the live foot friendly assist five goals with crosses using league on players in the live foot friendly and win nine matches so it's a little bit odd how you've got the score 10 goals using Prem players and score using the league of players in 12 separate matches now with the premier league it doesn't have to be in separate matches obviously with the league it says you need to score in 12 separate matches premier league you could literally get that 10 goals in one game if you can now my number one tip for this one um, is you could either sub on a premier league player which obviously i'll get into in a minute or you could simply message your opponent and ask them you know you can score 10 goals each with a premier player and then go from there so you can get that one done by itself and then just focus on the legal one as with assist five crosses with league on players you're going to want to have some league on wingers and obviously if you win nine matches you just got to win the nine matches so i mean first tip is going to be golden goal some people are going to be doing golden goal not all the people though um basically if you score first then you uh, then your opponent hopefully quits if your opponent scores first and you quit genuinely you don't have to do that though don't make you don't, don't think anyone is forcing you to do that don't get tricked into doing it don't feel like you're a rat if you're not genuinely it's all just choice because i know lots of people will be staying because obviously you've got the league in 12 separate matches you want to win nine but as well um the crosses and the scoring with prem players especially because you're going to have like a league and league on base front uh, front line it's going to be a little bit challenging but let's get into the squad builder right so the new new alliance i'm pretty sure it is or new allegiance i'm pretty sure it is um is a classic match rules you need at least three leagues and you can only have at most one lone player now with the lone player, some people get confused and accidentally have lone players kept on the bench. So make sure you've got only maximum of one lone player either on your bench or in your starting squad. Now I've gone ahead boys, we have a built a team. And in my opinion, obviously it's going to be a budget team. We build teams between 20 and 40,000 coins. This will probably be coming in at around the 15 to 20,000 coin mark. So I've gone for a 4-2-4 because you want those wide options to try and get that cross with the league on player. Now the league on, we've got only like, we've got a league on back line, but we've only gone for one at league on attacker and that is going to be Bamba. I absolutely love this card from last FIFA. A really nice budget winger. He's not too pricey. 89 pace, some class dribbling, 4 star, 4 star, high high, 5 foot 9 with a brilliant body type. This card is absolutely class. So I've gone for him at left wing in a 4-2-4. Um, now a striker, we have gone for a French boy. Now if you do have a little bit more budget, you could go for maybe even Lacazette or Martial who's roughly 7,000 coins because um, you just need a French Premier League striker that links in but we have gone for Eduard for Crystal Palace now he's six foot two with four star four star and he's actually a reason reasonably fine card um I used him in the what's it called in the beginning of the game I literally used him in rivals and he did really well so I've got a Premier League player for the score 10 goals of Prem players we have got Bambit to for the assist five goals with crosses and now for the La Liga boys we have gone for Morales we've gone for Porto at right wing Morales and Porto two very very underrated cards ignore the one 121 goals and 75 assists in 26 games so we're doing objectives with him but Porto was actually really really good in my division rivals that I did use with him Morales as well we only used for a game um, but he's actually also a very solid card now our two centre mids we have gone for French boys to help link it all in we've gone for Coquelin that paired up with literally Camavinga and as you can see I've already played seven games with him two goals and three assists and they are in division rivals as well now left back um, you can have any French left back but we've just gone for a French league 
on the left back, and that is Kozawa. The left back is a little bit of a weak position. Um, you know, 74 pace just realistically isn't ideal, but you do not have too much options whatsoever. If you do have a higher budget, then maybe you'll go for maybe like Ethan Afeo Hernandez, something like that. I know he's like 30k still, but yeah. Left centre back is going to be Medina. Now, he is 6 foot, he's got 78 pace. He's just a very nice underrated card. Paired with Diallo as well, who is relatively underrated with 74 pace. Now, usually I would say go ahead and choose Dest, but he is in team of the week. So we're going to go for Montiel, who has made a move from, I believe, the Libertadores League to Sevilla, which is actually very, very class. And in net, we just have gone for Paulo Lopez. I mean, 6-2, rushes out of goal. It is what it is. Goalies are going to be goalies this year. So once again, boys, this team here, you've got your left wing with Bamba, and you really want to try and focus and get that cross um, assist with him. You want to get 10 Premier League goals. Doesn't have to be in separate matches. And then you've got your La Liga striker, right mid, and two centre mids to try and score. So the main target um, is to score with a La Liga player. So Morales, Porto, or your centre mids. And then obviously you've got the 10 Prem goals, which you can try to get at some point. And you also want to try and get assists with crosses with Bamba. So I've already gone over tip one, which is like golden goal. Now we're going to head on over to tip number two, and that is going to be to fill the bench up. There's only, the only requirement is you need at least three leagues, which as you can see we have. We've got uh, League Un, we've got La Liga, and we've got Premier League. So I've got the three leagues, we've got no loan players. My number one tip is to fill your bench up for with super subs. Um, my main team, I've got Yung Min Son, which is absolutely class. Um, I've probably got Suarez who could make the bench. Um, like I said, you want to try avoid putting your loans on the bench unless you can have only one. You can have one loan on the bench if you want to do that. Um, so there's always that. If you've got an Mbappe, you could play Mbappe there and then sub a Prem player on and try to get the goals that way. But remember, you can have only one loan player and that does count the sub subs as well. So tip number two is full of bench out. If you are losing, say it's a 45th minute, you're trying to see the game out, then you could bring on Son simply for Eduard if you want, because he will go get, you know, Son's also a Premier League player. Obviously, I'm just using him as an example. So using Prem players, or sorry, using uh, super subs is absolutely key. Next up, boys, we are going to flick over screens, and we're going to go over to Footbin. Now, Footbin, um, I'm not sponsored by Footbin whatsoever, but just for an example, let's take, you know what, let's take Bamba for an example. Tip number three, lads, is going to be chemistry styles. So, as you can see, Bamba is only 1.4k on the PS, 1.2 on the Xbox. Now, chem styles, as you can see here, remember, lads, we're not sponsored by Footbin. I just really, really rate this website a lot. Now, you can put different, ignore the ads, by the way, you can put different chemistry styles on him, and it will make his stats much better in-game. So, as you can see, in-game, he's a 79 rated left wing, although he's 80 rated, it says he's 79 rated in-game. Um, let's say, with a hunter... Let's chuck a hunter on him. So, with a hunter, he goes to maximum pace. His shooting, he gets a plus 10 finishing to 83. He goes to 83 shot power. But most importantly, he goes to an 82 rated left wing, an 80 rated striker, and an 81 rated left mid in game. So, moral of the story, boys, with tip number three is going to be chemistry styles. Let's chuck a finisher on him. He goes to an 84 rated left wing in game. His pace stays the same, but he gets a massive dribbling boost and a massive shooting boost. So, the tip number three, chem styles. You can use it on all your players. Um, as you can see, Morales, he's got a hunter on him. Um, so with a hunter, he gets a plus, usually it's plus 10 if he's full chem. He gets a plus 10 pace boost, um, a plus 10 finishing boost, and then game he'll go to like an 85 rated striker. Lots of my cards that I already had in the club or that I have used, Camavinga, for example, has a catalyst on him. Now, it doesn't have to be the exact same chem style. For example, Coquelin. Usually, I'd go for maybe a Shadow. Shadows are like 3,000 coins, and if you are on a budget, just search your chem styles, and I'll probably chuck something even like an Injured, maybe even a Maestro on him, you know, like an Injured gives him a pace, a dribbling, a passing boost, so stuff like that. Chem styles can come in very, very clutch. Boys, this will do it for this video this will do it for all the tips and all that good stuff remember this team is coming in at roughly maybe 20 to 30 a thousand coins we're going to go back over the objectives once again just to kind of obviously you know confirm that this team will do it um, and like i said I've gone through all the names. You guys can buy it. Um, if you do have a higher budget, you could even go for like a more expensive left back. But I'm, like I said, fitting the more budget community. So I've got score using the Liga players in 12 separate matches. So that's Morales, Porto, or your centre mids. Score 10 goals using Prem players. That is Eduard. And with this one, you could message your opponent and say, I'll let you score 10 with a Prem player if you let me. And you can play on from 10-10. Assist 5 goals with crosses using League 1 players. Now it's not in separate matches. So as well, you could message your opponent and say, hey, can I just farm assists um, 
with my bamba and you can do the same and obviously crosses is uh square slash or square on a ps4 pretty sure it's x on the xbox i uh, now and obviously win nine matches you just got to win nine matches lads hopefully this video did help you guys out if you are new as well make sure to drop a like and subscribe and until next time boys i'll see you guys all later